meeting with a lovely friend, which is also a congregant here at Beit Torah, and he asked me, so Rabbi, I'm overwhelmed with problems. Can you tell me, please, when will my problems stop? And I said to him, I have a very bad news, my friend, for you. So what are the bad news? The problems will never stop. To be alive is to be exposed to pain and to sorrow. And the inspiration to the answer comes from the Parsha of the week. We have Jacob, the patriarch, who, according to the Torah, Vayeshev Yaakov. Finally, Jacob decided to settle and to say, you know what, here I am after running 20 years away from my brother, from my family, I need peace. So what will happen in his life? Troubles amongst the siblings, among his kids. No? You remember the famous story with the Joseph who started to generate envy among his siblings. And obviously the, the idea that they will sell him to the Ishmaelites, etc., etc. So what I would love to share with you is the following uh, thought is because there is no life without, without problems, I arrived to the conclusion that a way to measure a person's life or a person's character, personality, will be uh, measuring what makes him feel pain. No? Because, you know, people feel pain for different situations. Somebody can be devastated because his football uh, team lost the championship, and I'm not judging that. But you have other people who the only thing that would take away from them sleep is, is that they couldn't buy the fancy car they, they expected. But you have other people who also want the, the team to win and they would love to have a nice car because they deserve it. But what take away the sleep from them is when other people suffer, when other people are in pain, when other people don't have enough food on the table. So in this Shabbat, and we unfortunately, we arrive to the real conclusion that there is no life without suffering, without pain. Let's think, what takes away the sleep from you? And then decide, is this worthy or not? And again, maybe there are things and family members and people who are suffering and they need me. This will also be a reflection of who we are, who you are, who am I. To get involved, to make sure that other people's pain is a little bit taking away because of your existence. Shabbat shalom.